for today's cook, you are about to witness the best thing I've ever cooked in my life. My nephew and family members say that I would never be able to top this, and I think they might be right. This is black truffle. Unlike the canned stuff, black fresh truffle is completely different. I've had the canned stuff before, but nothing compared to the real deal. These are not easy to get, and even though they are expensive, it might not be as expensive as you think. It is a prestige ingredient, and if you get your hands on it, I recommend you're going all out. And that's what I did. If you never had black truffle, it is difficult to explain. The flavor is not even close to the canned stuff. It is very mild and just impossible to compare it with something. You have to try it in order to understand. Today I'm gonna show you my take on carbonara pasta. Traditionally it's done with pancetta or bacon, but we're gonna make Guga style. This is Japanese Wagyu A5 fat. As you've seen me cook Wagyu A5 before, I always save the fat. There's amazing uses for it and you will see it throughout my channel. When you're eating Wagyu, it has already a tremendous amount of fat, so always save the extra. As you can see, they are still frozen. I quickly remove a little bit from the bag and chopped it up fine. Instead of using olive oil or bacon fat, this is what we're using. And for my pasta, this is the one. I got this one straight from Italy. And as you can see, it has black truffles infused into the pasta. If you are unable to find this one, I recommend you using any pasta you like, as long as it has a rough texture. If the pasta is smooth, it won't catch the sauce. And when it's rough like this, it grabs the sauce and gives you a wonderful bite. Always look for a rough texture pasta. Since I'm going all out, I'm not gonna be using regular cheese. This is the real deal. It is Parmigiano Reggiano from Italy. And if you ask me, is it different, Guga? I tell you right now, it is. Just like the black truffle, this might not be as expensive as you think. As long as you're buying pieces and not the whole thing, it is doable. But most importantly, it is worth it. Now there's two ways for you to shred this cheese. You can just put it in the blender and shred it all up, which makes it faster and gives you a very fine texture. I normally like to do this with the end bits. The other option is to use a micro grater. Both method works, just choose one. Now for the meat. Instead of using bacon or pancetta, I'm going with this beautiful Australian Wagyu Marbling Score 8. This is an experience by itself. I seasoned it well with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. For my carbonara sauce, it is pretty straightforward. Start with three egg yolks, beat them fine, then added my cheese. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below. After mixing it well, my sauce mix was ready. If you've never made carbonara sauce, the trick is to boil your pasta. Once that's done, drain it but reserve a little bit of the pasta water. In a saute pan, you would throw the pasta in, then the sauce that was just made, and throw in the pasta water into you get the consistency you're happy with. The biggest tip I'm gonna give you is to keep mixing so you can emulsify everything together into a sauce. Keep in mind that you can always add more water but you can never take it out. But now that we have everything ready, I say it is enough talking and it's time to cook. So let's do it. everybody we have our beautiful pasta here what do you think angel well, it looks crazy that looks insane it looks okay you know what we you want to know what we got here yeah you want to know what we're going on here all right it looks 
It looks a little bit expensive because <laughs> I already know what that is. You know what that is because we went to Hero, right? But this right. one... Um, this one's different, though. This one's a little bit different. Anyway, we're Co talking a lot. Let's give it a try. Hey, eh? What is it, bro? Oh, you, you said you were going to tell me. You try first and then All right, after we got pasta. We got, we got pasta. shredded cheese. Uh -huh. We got some sort of steak in here. Looks kind of fatty. Looks like... <laughs> Does it look fatty? Is wagyu? Yeah, maybe. Are you laughing at the fatty comment? <laughs> I said that because this one right here, I don't know if you guys picked this one up. It looks I can't even... F He's becoming way too knowledgeable about meat. Shredded I can't even cheese. Fe fake it anymore. What kind of cheese is that? I don't know. You're going to find out real soon. I, I'm talking. not good with my cheese. Come over here. Let me, let's, uh, let me just dig in, buddy. Just toss it in there, I guess. Little bit of everything, my brother. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try. <laughs> Immediately on your mouth. Wow. Hold on. Let's go more. <laughs> Bro, something just went in my head right now. Something is happening here that I don't think ever happened to us right away. Well, it has to be Wagyu. <laughs> now I know for sure. Definitely Wagyu. Hold on, everybody. I got to go in for a second bite. I can't. I can't. Mm. <laughs> wow. What's wrong with you, man? That is crazy good, Angel. This is so good, I might slap you. <laughs> That How dare you feed me this? Oh my god! What am I supposed to do with <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs now? I'm gonna tell you something right now. Mm. You made a uh, bone marrow pasta. That was amazing. That was McDonald's. That <laughs> That's what that was. That was McDonald's compared to this. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? I have to agree with Angel. That bone marrow pasta was nothing compared to this one. This is like a different kind of okay, level, look, everybody. Look. Oh my god, this is... I don't know the amount of money put into this dish. I don't know. Quite a bit, but, Angel. Okay, I'm assuming because I saw the truffle or some Wagyu in there. Quite a bit. I don't know what is in here. <laughs> not exactly, not 100%. You guys need to listen to me here. <laughs> if there is a way that you have enough money to put this together and not be flat broke, <laughs> You should definitely try this. This, can we say this is probably the best dish overall combined look, together look, wherever it? Look, look, all right. So far this year and the next year, <laughs> this is the best dish you ever made. I think this I is think the so. best dish I ever you, cooked. You are oh. showing some chef in this one. This one. <laughs> You are showing some chef. I'm no chef, but some chef but this power one. in this one, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep eating some, bro. Thank you for that. This one is good, everybody. bro. I'm proud of you. I'm proud I'm of proud you, bro. Of <laughs> I wanted to give this a try. I had it in my head. I was like, oh, I love carbonara, but I want to make something different. You've seen the traditional carbonara made a thousand times. I said, you know what? Let me do a Google twist on it. I can't believe it. And let me you. tell you, this Google twist. It's good. Look, look <laughs> I want to show you something. Pay attention. Guga comes out with this, right? I'm sitting down. I go, okay. He goes, he puts it down. He goes like this, right? <laughs> he starts moving his hands like this, right? Look, just like this. Look. This is looking good, Angel. Hold on, hold on. I'm not done. He puts it down. He goes like this. He goes, ah, ha, ha. Just <laughs> like that. Just like that. And I start laughing. And he goes, this is gonna be a good one, Angel. So I start analyzing. As soon as he did that, I had to start analyzing. How'd you do it? Show him how you did it. <laughs> anyway, listen, guys, I, you can tell that we're a little bit overexcited oh, on this dish. It is incredible. I hope you ever give it a try. If you don't have Wagyu, you can cook with something else. Ooh. Cook with another fatty prime ribeye. I'm sorry, if you I'm don't have the truffles, keep eating it. If you don't have the truffles, at least do the carbonara with steak. It is incredible. It is a different kind of level that I don't know if I can top this one off. It is the best dish we ever done combined together, like an overall dish. 
by far everybody anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video it's something different all my italian friends i know it is not the traditional but i hope you like my twist if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe for future videos remember if you are interested in anything i use everything is always in the description down below Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. He's ruining, like, everyday things for me. Every, every time he does this, he ruins everyday things for me. I like spaghetti and meatballs. I liked spaghetti and meatballs. Every time you eat it now, you're going to be thinking of the pasta, huh? I liked the bone marrow that you made, the bone marrow pasta you made. I liked it a lot. That was good. Like, I... What the hell, man? I can't go to restaurants anymore, bro. You're ruining everything, bro. <laughs>